pretzel bite. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Weekly Wednesday Updates. This is a series where I show you guys some of the behind the scenes stuff that happens around the House of Masks, and I think that this is going to be a pretty cool episode. Now, obviously, we open with some shots of the dead AJ in the front window, which is what the main focus of the last Weekly Wednesday update video was. I was just showing you guys that I've got it 100% complete. I put the gloves on the mannequin, I've got him stuffed a little better than you last saw him, and I even added some face tattoos and stuff, so I think it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked on it. It's definitely gotten a reaction from the community. People seem to love it or just not understand it, but either way, it makes for a pretty cool response. And now, in this episode of Weekly Wednesday Updates, we are going to be focusing on this room, the main room, the mask room, the music room, whatever you want to call it. The main room here at the House of Masks is going to be the focus of this video because we've got to start getting this place in shape for Pale Fest. Pale Fest is only like two and a half months away, so it's getting close and this place needs to be heavily reorganized, starting with this little area right here. Now, I don't know if you guys remember what this looked like before we put these shelves up, which aren't actually up yet because I have to paint them, but that was just kind of a catch-all and it mostly housed the giant AJ head and feet and hands. But now it's going to be becoming the snake pit, if you will. This is definitely going to be a place for my Cancer Christ collection. I have obtained a lot of Cancer Christ stuff in the last month or so, and it's all just kind of laying on the floor right now with nowhere to go, and I have even more on the way. So, we are going to get these painted black. We will start putting the Cancer Christ stuff up there. I will be doing a few more unboxings in the next few weeks, and then we'll get those added there as well. And then there's just a general mess in this area. I'll take you guys around and show you exactly what I mean. So, this week, we're just redoing this entire room to a certain extent. I gotta find a place for all of these oddball clowns to go. I gotta figure out how I'm rearranging all of these shelves. I'm running out of room for certain members like the clown shelf there, Sid's little area, and a lot of the regular oddballs. So we may end up doing another shelf up top. I'm not sure yet, but what I know for certain is all of this stuff needs to find a place to go. We've got so many passes. I got uh, Wage War, we've got not fest we've got guar we've got artist wristbands from sonic temple artist from sick new world i've got all these crypto pics from the girls i've got luana's base head cover uh so we got stage used masks stage used cancer christ stuff the cancer christ box set i actually don't know if i'm gonna leave this here or not i kind of like it there but there's just a lot of like the cancer christ stuff is becoming overwhelming so I ripped all the stuff out from over here. We've got these shelves up. I've got to paint them. And then this will be a lot of Cancer Christ stuff and then maybe some more Mudbane stuff over here because I do have a little bit of a Mudbane collection going on. These are also stage-used Mudbane outfits that have never really found a place to go. But then the giant AJ has to go somewhere, and we don't really know what to do. I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, we hang it from the ceiling. I think that'd be kind of cool if he was like floating over the mask room. Anyways, all of this stuff needs rearranged. I have a bunch of like Sid exclusives that haven't really found a place to go. And I don't know, just want to get this place in order. It's been kind of a catch all for a minute now and Pale Fest is coming up. So I figured it was time to organize and get this place going. I have a lot of stuff that needs framed, a lot of photos. A lot of stuff that accompanies the stage used pieces, especially the Cancer Christ stuff. I forgot about all this stage used Cancer Christ stuff. There's just a lot. So yeah, this needs to go in a, in a shadow box. I don't know, man. I'm doing my best here, guys. End of flashback. Not too bad for a crippled. I don't know why my camera is doing that focus thing that it's doing. Anyways, we got the first layer of black paint on these shelves. Can you please just focus? What on earth? 
Anyways, first coat of paint is on. I probably won't film the second coat, but I am going to throw a second coat of paint on there. I also plan to clean this bottom shelf. It's pretty dusty, and there are actually some spots that have been scratched that probably need touched up, but I'm not going to make you guys watch that. I'm just giving you a general idea of how it's going to look before we throw the stuff on there. Obviously, these things need screwed into place. They are not in the spot that they are going to be. As you can see, they're not touching. I'm just letting that paint dry. And then again, I got to hit it again. So I will probably call my dad and see if he can bring the drill up and give me a hand. And then the next step is putting all of the Cancer Christ memorabilia up there, which I have absolutely no idea how I want it to look. And I think that that'll be the fun part, figuring out exactly how to get it displayed on there. I have this stuff over here. I have some more stuff over here and over here. And I have another package coming tomorrow it should arrive tomorrow and hopefully i'll be able to do the unboxing on that but in order to get this video out on wednesday which is tomorrow we will have to wrap up stuff for this episode today so i would say that getting these shelves dressed will probably be the end of this and i did want to do more in this episode but i've had a crazy week so that kind of went down the drain a little bit but we're doing what we can I'm just glad to be up and doing stuff and making videos and getting content out and I'm not dead, which is pretty cool. All right, so the shelves are up, they are screwed in, the paint is completely dried. I'm going to get this stuff out of the way, kind of dust this stuff off and then it'll be time to bring stuff over. And this is the part that should be the most fun and I do still think will be the most fun of this little project. However, I will say it is extremely frustrating to not be able to drive myself. Like this is where this injury is starting to get on my nerves. I only own a truck at the moment that is a standard and I have tried to drive it with this hurt ankle and this broken hand, arm, and it just doesn't really work out the best, so I don't feel safe to be out on the roads because it's just kind of a lot, which means that I can't go get regular things that I would be going to grab, like picture frames. And there are some things here that definitely need to be in picture frames to be displayed. So, this weekly Wednesday update definitely got cut short by the accident, and you know what? I'm just going to have to be okay with that. So I think that we are going to put as much stuff up here as we possibly can right now, we will probably have to do a part two to this project in particular, but once we do that part two, we will also be able to knock out some other stuff around this room and even continue filling up more than just Cancer Christ stuff on these shelves. But for right now, we are just going to go ahead and get what we can up and over here. I'll give you guys some nice close-up shots of the display and what we get put up at the end of the video, and that will be the end of the video. So I do apologize. This one definitely didn't end up being what I had expected it to when I started filming, but the day that I started filming this, I went out and got broke off on the motorcycle. So yeah, my bad, I apologize, but thank you for being here nonetheless. So let's go ahead and start putting stuff up and see what we can come up with. So this is how it's looking at the moment and I feel like this is probably the stopping point for the video because we are starting to run into a few problems and if my arm wasn't broken I would hold my hand up and I would do air quotes around problems because although they are technically problems they are good problems to have so first of all as I said, I am happy with how this is coming together, and we do still have quite a few other Cancer Christ pieces on the way, so I feel like we are definitely going to get that top shelf filled, and most likely a good start on the second shelf, and I will keep acquiring as many Cancer Christ pieces as I can, so that we can just have a big crazy snake pit over here. However, with the stuff that we do have, there are just certain things that I can't display right now, for instance, the chains and these fishnet tank tops from Piss Snake. I just don't know how I want to display those yet. They're either going to go in some sort of shadow box 
or maybe even on some sort of bust, like a torso and head bust, because I do have a stage used piss snake mask as well. So maybe we could display one of the fishnets, one of the chains, and the stage used mask on a bust, maybe down there in the corner or something. And we also can't display these pieces that need framed. For instance, I have a ripped Bible page from Fuck Snake, as well as a handwritten note from, where did that one come from? Oh, that one came from Diesel Snake. So stuff like that. We just need frames for them to look good and we can't go get frames right now because as I mentioned earlier, I can't drive. We also have another problem and that is that I really kind of dug this transitional section with the stage used gear. So over here is obviously my guar section and my guar section has this stage used beefcake base. And then it has this stage used Grotius Maximus Mockingbird. And this isn't just a stage used Grotius Maximus Mockingbird. This is also a stage used Snake Boss piece. So we have the stage used Guar aspect coming from Grotius Maximus, but we also have the stage used Cancer Christ aspect coming from Snake Boss, both of which were portrayed by Tommy. And it was just a nice transitional slide. Like we went from Guar, to Guar and Cancer Christ, straight over to only Cancer Christ with this stage used Piss Snake base. And it was just kind of a nice segue. We have some early Cancer Christ stuff back here. We've got a Bible piece from St. Anthony. We've got that stage used Piss Snake mask up there. We got a stage used drumstick from Apocalypse Snake. And I really liked how that was flowing and I actually planned to put more stuff up here with this base, but now, I'm kind of torn and I don't know what to do because most of the Cancer Christ stuff is going to be over there and then just some of it is going to be over here. I don't know. I don't really like that. I like to have my sections complete. I like for everything to be displayed with that thing. So Slipknot with Slipknot, Guar with Guar, Buckethead with Buckethead, and obviously Cancer Christ with Cancer Christ. So I really don't know what to do with that yet. But yeah, I guess that's something we can figure out. Obviously, this stuff ain't going nowhere. And I will have nothing but time in the near future to kind of figure this out. So I guess the first things first is we got to get frames for certain things. And we also have to finish unboxing the rest of the Cancer Christ stuff. Because as I mentioned, I do have more Cancer Christ stuff to unbox. I know that I for sure have some Snake Mama and Snake Babe stuff on the way. I do believe that will be delivered tomorrow. And I think I have another package in there from Tommy. And I don't know what's in there. And oh yeah, we still have part two of the Diesel Snake unboxing. So there are a few items in there already and more to come. So yeah, dude, that is pretty much it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and shut this one down. I do apologize if this was a little underwhelming. I'm pretty stoked on how it's turning out, all things considered, but I also didn't plan to get in a motorcycle accident this week and kind of cut everything short. So yeah, dude, thank you guys very, very much for watching. I definitely appreciate you being here. Hopefully, the next one gives you a little more excitement, and in the meantime, I think you guys are going to be extremely happy with the content. So sit back, relax, enjoy. It's our season. We're about to kill it. And I promise you that some really, really cool videos are coming up. And I wish that I was on the front of the camera so that I could shut this video down. Hang on. All right. Thanks again for watching. And until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and also to motorcycle accidents. And we will see you guys in the next one.